from the city of brotherly love and Citizens Bank Park interleague baseball on MLB the show it's the Oakland Athletics taking on the Philadelphia Phillies first pitch coming at you right after the break okay all set to go and stepping in is the speedy Daryl Hernandez the line of the pitch not close with that one and we are underway in game one of the series breaking ball through there for a strike and now one and two Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One out. Digging in for Oakland. Ryan Noda. Fastball for a strike. Here's a batter who, for whatever reasons, plays better on the road, and that should help him here today. Swings hey. through that one for strike two. No ball, two strike. And a pitch. Hey. And a swing and a miss. Two gone now. Next up for the A's, Zach Gellar. First pitch, and he just misses. Gellar starting up the middle at second, 24 years old. He's one of the few Major League Baseball players born in the state of Delaware. Next offering in there for a strike. And a count, one and two. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Got him. He's Getting out. over on the strikeout. Bottom of the first. Here's a big power three. Kyle Schwarber. The designated hitter. Kyle Schwarber. The pitch. In the left center for a base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in. And he's out. Got it. Trey Turner at the plate. He really needs to start making more contact. Striking out nearly twice in each of the last five That's games. Bueno. First offering misses badly for ball one. Just a little bit too quick. He's got to find a way just to travel a hair more. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. One ball. This guy's sink has so much drop in it. It's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak ball contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. And that one is lifted in the air under this one. Squeezes it. And there are two down. Bryce Harper to the plate. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start. Oh, gets dirty. Throws from his knees. And that's a nice play to end the inning. Back here in Philadelphia, new inning getting started. So here's the cleanup hitter for Oakland, Brent Rooker. And a foul ball. Well, I don't think anyone was surprised to see Nola have success in the majors. He was a star in college, playing for LSU, becoming a finalist oh. for the 2014 Golden Spikes Award. He's one of the top amateur baseball players in the country. Seth Aye. Brown stands in now and All watches one. strike one. In the air, out towards left center. Merrifield snags it. Two down. Two outs. Space is empty. Tyler Soderstrom up next for the A's. First oh, offering and it up. just misses. Oh, and another right ball. Down. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. 
as he was out front that time. That one to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Back at Citizens Bank Park, here's the third baseman, Alec Bull. The pitch. Fly ball down the line. Rooker on the move towards the line. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. And there's one away. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. Definitely scuffling at the dish lately. Only two hits over the last five games. Now a screamer into the outfield. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Got it started a little too early. Oh, Strike right, one. Down. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Going to count one and two. Two strikes. Up the middle, Diaz. On the run, throw to first. They get the out, and that'll do it. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. Top half of the third inning. Now the third baseman, Jordan Diaz. Smoked on the ground a second. On to first. He's out. One up, one down. Here's the center fielder, Lawrence Butler. And there's a foul ball. Here's the 1. Foul ball there. One out, base is empty. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. And it's a lead miss Diaz. Basketball for a strike. That clips the zone. And it's nothing in two. Two down, nobody on. The shortstop takes the ball. Hey. Right down on strikes. Oakland goes quietly. Set for the bottom of the third. This is Bryson Stock. The second baseman. Blackburn back to work. Check oh, swing, no appeal. Well, these Phillies definitely being aggressive at the plate, but I think it's fair to wonder if they're being a little over-aggressive. I'm specifically talking about the first pitch. These guys are swinging more than 80% of the time, which is fine if you're scoring runs, but that hasn't been the case today. With Merrifield up to the plate. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Diamond nine. on the swing was good. good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Right Didn't square it up as much as he probably right would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Here's Christian Pache. That one ripped. That's back. Oh, yes. He sends it out of here. His second of the year, and they add a pair. It's 2-0. Recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. There's a strike. 0 oh 1. Two runs across in the inning. You're in game one of this three game set. Owen oh, two now. Bounce to the right side. And he handles oh. it himself for the out. Two outs, base is empty. Trey Turner with a chance now. Fly to left his first time. Just oh. missed. Two outs, base is empty. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Butler makes a nice grab at a full sprint. 
And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping in, Daryl Hernandez. Down the ball here, rolls foul. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And a foul ball. Right into the plate. And ball one. It's a good take. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Two two now. Battling here as he fouls it away. Righty delivers. That one a little bit high. Full count now. Outside, and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Next pitch misses, and the count one and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Zach Gellar. That one fouled off. The A's yet to pick up a hit here. Hey. Pitching for a strike, and it's 0-2. Hey. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. Here's the Oakland cleanup yeah. hitter, Brent Rooker. Yeah. Rounded out his yeah. first time. Rooker. Swings through that. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's got a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Boom. Whips it to first. And the inning is over. And we're back. Ready to go. Bottom four. And digging in for Philadelphia, Bryce Harper. The pitch. That's a strike. Harper, a member of the 1,000 hit club, and he's a former home run derby champ. And a runner out into right center for a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. It's hard to hit a baseball much better than that, and even a lot of professional hitters aren't able to reach an exit velo of 114 miles per hour. I'll tell you what, that's a very impressive swing of the bat. In the air, left field down the line. Brown snags it on the run. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. And he's out oh, trying to get back to first double play. Brandon Marsh now at the plate. He's over one. And first offering is fouled off. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. Throw to first. In time, the 2 3 strikeout ends the inning. Back here in Philadelphia. So here's Brown at the plate. There's a strike. You know, these athletics just aren't putting together very many good at bats in this one. Just one base runner to this oh, point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They've got players in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Oh, that That's outside, down. and it's 2-1. and one. Right. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Oh, no. Now it's oh, going to be right. Tyler Soderstrom. Right through there for a strike. Well, he's looking great so far. It helps with over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. And there's a strike. Oh, 
Base is empty one away. And we're in the top of the fifth. Ball on there. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Here's the third baseman, Jordan Diaz. And the first pitch misses in the dirt. Swings through that one for strike one. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. The other way, and makes the play, and that's out number three. Bottom of the inning. So digging in now for Philadelphia, JT Real Muto. Blackburn back to work. That one hammered, but pulled foul. <laughs> Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate label. Good extension on that swing. Took the pitch on the outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle. He let it travel just enough. Stop the one. batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Out to center. And puts the squeeze on that one. One down. And now for the Phillies, Whit Merrifield. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Ball one, no and a pitch right. out, but nothing going on. Man at first, one away. Yep. And another ball. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And that should be extra bases. Real Muto coming home. He'll score easily. It's three zip. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Pache in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Man at second. Out to short. Throws the first in time. So here's the Phillies DH. Kyle Schwarber. This is just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. There's a swing and a drive. That's a base hit. Run scores. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. You see a ball come off the bat. Now on the bump, number 14. Number 14. Well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. Here's Turner now. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Turner is out. And that is that. Lawrence Butler digs in now. Struck out on just three pitches Boy. last time. But why to kick the pitch? Hit on the ground to the right side. Takes it himself. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Now let Miss Diaz now. That's in there. It's 0-1. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Merrifield pulls it down and there's two gone. Next is the designated hitter, Daryl Hernandez. 
Right through there for a strike. Up and nope. in, and yeah, the count even one and one. The Athletics hitless so far in the game. Line drive, makes the catch, inning over. Philadelphia. Well, we go bottom six, and here's the first baseman, Bryce Harper. Going one. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. Oh, one's the count. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. I think he was a little excited there, saw the fastball, but needed a step ladder to get to that one. He's going to have to tighten it back up. He wants to have a good at bat. Diaz settles underneath it, makes the grab one away. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. The third baseman, Alec Bohm. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. And it's one and one. And that one upstairs. Two balls. The two one. one. Ball three. Fouled off left side. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. And they'll do it again. Outside, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Brandon March stands in for the Phillies. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that's outside. No, oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Two balls, one strike. That one three. missed. Boom. Three balls, Leads off first strike. with one away. In the air, left field. Brown brings it in. And there's two away. JT Real Muto steps in. Known for his rocket arm JT. behind the plate. Real Muto. In the air to left center. Sizes this one up. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Top of inning number seven. Digging in for Oakland. Ryan Noda. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. That oh, misses the zone. And now 2-0. Oh. Hey. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Two up. Right-hander deals. Swings and misses. One away. Zach Geller will hit next. You know, he's been so great today. Really just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, he hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. Close one doesn't get the call. Two and oh. He swings and fouls one off. The A's down by four. Here in the top half of inning number seven. 
on the ground right side and it gets through for a hit their first of the ball game well there goes the dream of the no hitter the not much to this one the other than just a willingness to good. go the other way and put the ball good in play good. that's a team to bat right there oh well, this ball is crushed into left field it's on its way and gone a gigantic blast <laughs> His 12th of the season, and they cut into the lead. It's 4-2. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. Seth Brown up next for the A's. Fought off foul. And the righty deals. And that one fouled off. Foul ball still 0 and 2. The Phillies leading by two here in game one of this three one game ball. set. Right. Outside. Wouldn't chase ball. that time. It misses. It's a strikeout. At the play, Tyler Soderstrom. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Next Whoa, offering right is there. downstairs. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. A little bit high. It's two and two. In the air, left side. Brings it in for the third out. for the last half of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Bryson Stock. Now time called at the plate. The right-hander back to work. And that one hit to first. And he takes oh. it himself for the out. Whit Merrifield, the, the next to hit. Whit Merrifield. And that one lifted in the air, center field. That's out number two. Two outs, bases empty. And digging in for Philadelphia, Christian Pache. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Diaz makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Welcome now, back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. 49. Kevin Kelly. Well, Kevin. the best relievers love the opportunity Kelly. to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Diaz Aye. leading things off and takes a strike. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. a little bit high. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Lawrence Butler up next for the A's. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. On one. The Athletics trailing by two, and we're in the top of the eighth. Here's the 0-2. Oh, 
Bows that off to the left and will do it again. Bounce and misses. It's a strikeout. Oledmis Diaz now. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Hey. And a big swing and a miss. One and one. On the ground, out to short. Trey Turner gloves it. Slings to first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Back here, Citizens Bank Park, and here is Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber. And a pitch. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Headed down the line. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. Here's Trey Turner. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And a base hit up the middle. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Okay. Harper, the next to hit, takes ball one. Right through there for a strike. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. And That's now two and there. one. He got two balls, one strike. And Great another ball. ball. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Rooker has this one sized up. Two down. Man at first, and next will be the cleanup hitter, Alec Bohm. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Check on the runner. Turner back easily. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. That one the other way. He's got it. And that'll end the inning. We're back. It's the top of the night, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Jeff Hoffman. Yeah. He's certainly been one of their better relief pitchers this season. The numbers are really solid, so they feel great about handing the ball over to him. So the batting order turns over, and now the DH, Daryl Hernandez. Going on. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And here it comes. Swings and misses. Struck him out. He's two outs away. Now the number two hitter, Ryan Noda. Noda. And a foul ball. That misses. And now it's even one and one. A little up front there as he swings through it. One ball. The Phils trying to close out a two-run lead here at the top of the night. Foul ball still one and two count. And so heat there at 98 miles an hour. Next up for the A's, Zach Gellar. One for three. And first offering is fouled off. The Phillies up by two here in game one of this three-game set. Only two. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, they win the opener at home. First game of the three-game series, and there's just such a good feeling that you're in your own ballpark, you're sleeping in your own bed, you're eating your clubhouse manager's food, everything's right in your world, and they played like it today. And your final, 4-2. The Phillies hang on to win it for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.
You know, it was almost like we were playing a horrible Oakland A's club. And we were. And we took care of business. Um, sometimes you basically can get lackadaisical and not play these games as hard. Obviously, I tried as hard as possible. Um, that single that got by uh, Harper, and then I kind of like relaxed on the very next pitch, and then a two-run bomb was hit because I basically just didn't concentrate for that one pitch. And he made me pay on it, but in the end, it really didn't matter. Um, we basically just took care of business. Paul Blackburn is now 1-13. and That's ah, just really miserable. Can't imagine being him. Um, really horrible. Um, but yeah, we did really, really well. Um, Paul Marsh and Stott all were missing hits. But look at this. We only struck out one time. Now, this is because I was aggressive at the plate and swung early. Um, so I wasn't as patient, but we stuck out 16 of their batters. Um, with Nola just really dominating and just running them right over. So I'd like to see it. He's now down to a 1.89 ERA. Um, so let's just uh, keep that going. And so until next time, this is David B69. Have a great day, everybody. Peace. I'm out.